Okay, welcome everybody. This is the first live stream of Empire of Sin, which is basically an XCOM style game based in the 1940s Chicago, a famous American history of Al Capone gangster era things. And you'll see as you go along. And basically, the idea is you take over a legend such as Al Capone and try and take over Chicago so that is exactly what I'm doing I've taken over Al Capone this is the very beginning it's on pause because the game literally jumped into the very beginning of the story uh, you've missed nothing Al Capone's in the back of the cab we will get going but before we do brief house cleaning any copyright or any art assets and so on and so on to do with the game are owned by the people who created them and they have the copyright with that being said with me today as we try to always do is my friend and also content partner Jewett Palmer from Jewett Palmer on YouTube how you doing dude? I'm good thanks well, take a deep breath my G I know <laughs> 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 trying to get used to this stuff so do you know anything about this game at all have you seen any adverts or anything no only what you've basically told me okay well in that case mm. I'll let the game play normally and I will let the tutorials run because frankly I have tried this game once I made a really big mistake and it ruined the play file so this is a fresh playthrough so we're all learning together. That's good. So this is this is me as Al Capone in the back of the cab. There is voice acting, but you know he's already said it. So obviously the guy says, uh, "You want to go Chinatown?" And I'm just gonna say, "Oh, where's the? There you go. Now it's working. I'm just gonna say, That's yep." Right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local loadout. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. There you go, and this is basically world building. So, I'm gonna play Koi and not mention selling illegal booze. Day no. I'll give him a taste of how we do things in New York. Obviously, he does give Did you the you option to, but Brooklyn. you get to choose whether you want to be obvious or oh, secretive. Yeah. How's Brooklyn in general? That's a one option thing. This is very delayed. Okay, do I just press it? No, okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I she's always saying she's sideways. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things down. Swell guy. Gave me my I say there will be tutorials, so we'll all learn Yale, together, huh? guys. So just the same enjoy Yale. what you say. Just up in Chicago? So. so in the story, Frankie Yale's one of his associates that shouldn't be messing around in Chicago. So, so he's on somebody else's turf. Well, he may be. We'll have Frank to see. Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Don't Doesn't seem com Italian completely guy. above York, board. Right? If, if that's one of your uh, subordinate powers, he's not supposed Don't to be getting in your action. I know I wouldn't have it. Which is lucky because I'm controlling the character, so I'd be like to see what happens. Yeah, it's Frankie. You know where he's staying? He didn't say, but I can find him for you if you help me with something. Here we go, you've been in the town less than five minutes, and the first taxi driver wants a favor. I mean, I need, need the money myself. There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Yeah, whatever, man. Sure. <laughs> What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale, how about I give you a line on a few crates and booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. There's a lot of background on your audio, dude. 
He's there. Yeah. He's trying to kill him. Is this a hard for to sit down with? Did you stand in this circuit on your side, my mind? Um, only when you're close to the mic. Or when I'm not fine. Your, t your TV is actually more understandable than you at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically this is the uh, tutorial section, it is dragged out slightly, it lasts about 15 to 20 minutes, but it, it's still fun to actually do, so again, we're all together on this, so there you go, we'll see what Al Capone has to do. And the game explains how the systems work, how you employ people. So if people are interested to buy the game in the future, this is a good section to watch. So I am going to play all the tutorials. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. I'm not particularly great as I've always said and the first time I played this I wasn't exactly great either um, I am pressing that why isn't it hmm bear with me a second there seems to be a massive input delay ah uh, there we go the game's caught up I think on occasion the game has lag issues. So if it's That's seems pretty like weird considering when it's not online. I know, yeah, but some games do that unfortunately. Yeah, so if it seems obvious I should be doing something and it doesn't happen straight away, it's probably because of a game processing issue. Rather than myself, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. I'll try not to talk over the tutorial, guys. So people that don't particularly like reading, drawing, playing, can just listen to the guy. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't going to know what hit them. Okay, so like the game says there, just press circle, put your In mouth Empire is mode. Sick. Combat is turn based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are allied with a boss, that boss is also shown under their portrait. Again, this only happens once, so you're not going to get bombarded with uh, text every single time. Uh, let's see. So, like the guy said, how I'm just remembering the button. Bear with me a second. Is it down, is it, I think? Yep, okay, so there I am. Stick moves you around where you want to walk, or in certain cases, who you want to attack by going directly to the guy. Or you can just press down, goes on um, what you're able to do here, which is um, fire your guns, overwatch. Basically, it's very, very similar to XCOM for people that like XCOM. So, you'll be very familiar with how this goes. So I'm going to take the action bar cover. is below. In combat, you can move or choose an action from the action bar. Some actions require a target. It's your turn, so fire a shot if you've got a target. Choose another action or move into cover. See, and that's basically what I just explained, but he did it a lot smoother. <laughs> So hopefully, or does the game actually want me to shoot now? No, it's letting me do it, good. So I'm there, and then what I'm going to do is, while I'm in cover, I do Overwatch, 
cover this area here so as soon as he moves he gets shot that should be it did it not take I don't think so okay let's try that again I'm clearly pressing the wrong button bear with me a second right um, God, what button it is? Sorry about that, guys. Bear with me a second. Thought, thought it was X. Not triangle. Hmm. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> You have to actually aim the cone, of course, which I completely forgot. Let's go with that. I got it. No, it's not taking. That's weird. I'll shoot him instead. Definitely shoot him instead. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. <laughs> Each character has two action points, or AP. Generally, each action takes one AP. Extended moves, special weapons, and some abilities take two AP. Choose an action below to see how many AP it requires. There you are, I was looking for you. Which? You're not a robot boy. Oh, you yeah, yeah. Listen. Yeah, uh, while well, Duke's with us today, he's just having a run through of his uh, personal play of Final Fantasy, so if you hear him talking about something else, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm actually liking this game. I, I am a big fan of it, I just had to give myself a break. That's one guy down, so that's his body. I took one in the back, but my health is fine. Using cover is vital to your survival. Cover is provided by the environment. Walls, cars, big objects, etc. Cover can be full cover, represented by a full shield. Or half cover, represented by a half shield. You can be flanked by the enemy and lose all of the cover benefits. So, be careful. Got it? Good. Get rid of these guys and the place is yours. So there you go, just to reiterate what I said earlier, that's my plan. Anytime the guy needs to talk, I'm just gonna shut up and let the guy talk. So you don't have to focus on text. And do I need to reload a kind of fire in there? Well, I'm gonna actually try Overwatch again and see if this thing actually works. There we go, now it's worked. As soon as the guy moves, auto shot and he's already half dead. There you go. As I said, people familiar with XCOM, you know the deal with that. If you're a relative distance away, trigger, trigger your um, Overwatch. And as long as the enemies are particularly smart, as soon as they move, bam, just like that guy there, you get wiped out. And that's the when you win a very racket, first you have tutorial. several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. And as the guy and says, let's make this a just do what, do taking what a place said, over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. There you go, so press again, so yes. I'm going to keep all the names as they automatically come up. But as you can see, you can change them to personal names for your own personal Now touch. this racket's yours, and that's how it's done. You want something? Take it. You're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe. So open up the racket screen. Okay, so as the guy says, hit the R1, rotate the stick. Go you got four there. different ways you can class up the joint, starting with security. 
The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Select upgrade to go to the next level. It can seem a bit daunting with all the text and numbers, but basically it's just if you have the money, upgrade the thing. That, you can rush the upgrade by selecting fixed. the rush button. Go ahead and do that now. As long as you have the cash, of course. Since you got a stage, you, get you yourself a bank. Have the cash. Upgrading ambience improves your draw. Higher draw means more customers and more money. Select upgrade to add a band. Like the real time of history, if you was in this deal or racket, as the guy says, you need cash to make the whole thing run. That's just how it is. Go ahead and rush the band too. I'm and sure they're used basically to. Basically, what the guy Select explaining. rush. So the security is upgraded. That's the band is upgraded. Looks great. More customers. Now let's get out of here. You got other work to do. When you've done your area, like the guy just said, you can literally just walk to the door and leave and do something else. Gotcha. Which the guy will explain in gotcha. a few minutes when the next tutorial begins. Gotcha. Uh, definitely gotcha. lagging for no reason. Gotcha. And you didn't manage to repeat itself so much. Uh, you do get the occasional bit of voice gotcha. acting in the background that repeats itself a lot, so just be aware of that for people that get annoyed by that stuff. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. Again, keeping quiet gotcha. on purpose just to, um, so you can listen to the guy rather than have me repeat it. Gracias. Notice that your crew members have a take, their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your total earnings. In general, the better they are, the higher the take. Gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. They have opinions about the people they work with, and their personalities and traits develop over time. You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the Black Book. We'll take a look at that later. As you become more powerful, you'll gain access to more hardened, skilled gangsters. So I thought the guy finished talking. Yeah, so basically, this tutorial is two random criminals come running up and you offer them a job to back you up and be your muscle and work for you so you can continue doing the tutorials which of course leads into the now, main game. Now hire your second gotcha. crew member. Gotcha. Oh there he is. I, I, need, I need to zoom the camera in. There, there we go. Now I can see the guy. Don't trade on me, God damn. Gotcha. Let's go. Okay. All right. Now you got yourself a squad, just in time too. Your new speakeasy isn't gonna last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. <laughs> Let's take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. Something tells me one of your nails gonna have a really bad day. So as the guy says, zoom out. The city would go into this map as you can see. Highlight the area and tap X. And you in as you can see with the markers, travel down to the area. They're actually walking. But later in the game you get explained how to use the taxes within the game. Right, got a Okay, so this is actually technically a mini fight. The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. So basically like the guy says, just wipe them out as quick as possible. So I'm going to do that, but he missed his shot unfortunately. Oh, 
He's dead. Good, good, good. Thank you, game. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie oh, yeah, and his guards. Dead. Luckily, the black market's got everything you need. Open the black market. So this is a quick look at the black market. So now that you're in the shop window, it's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop in the right window pane. If you want a recommendation, you what can't go wrong. Hell, with the first dude. Aid kit. What happened? We got one shot. Damn. Leave the shop when you have what you need. Okay, so with this being a tutorial, I am going to just take the um, healing kit. But as you can see, as long as you've got the money, you can buy guns, grenades, dynamite, I can see there. But just so you guys know, I did get the ultimate edition, so I do have a few legendary stuff. Stuff that's terrible. I think it's um, a handgun and a rifle and a special outfit for no reason. I mean the outfit, not the gun and the rifle. The gun and the rifle are great. Now take over Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Yeah, so basically, as the guy just said, you take out the um, enforcers at the front door, which we just did, and now you go inside the building, uh, trigger the ambush, which sets up the XCOM section. That's what I'm going to refer it to. So, you know, it's just gotcha. easier for me to refer it that way. And then you, you just kill gotcha. the guy, basically, and when he's dead, you take over his stuff. Gotcha. You need to move in the cover. Breweries are well You're guarded, finished. and this is a tough fight. Did he find it? Took me ages. Cool. In order, um, the theme song in the shop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to follow no, the music. One. I had one. Now we have to buy like for the karaoke machine. Yeah. Order and. You have to buy us. You have yeah. to buy the music, don't you? I remember that. Yeah. I've been mean, trying to find one. The, the, the first time I got lost in that was actually the very, very first music you get the option to find. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, th this is the somewhat simple section. The guy says to find cover. And the easiest way to do the tutorial is basically do what the guy says. Uh, you do have free reign to do anything you actually want to do after the tutorials. It's just a lot quicker to do it this way. You can still aim your overwatches wherever you need them. Completely cool. There is an involving storyline, but it doesn't kick in until after the actual tutorials, obviously. So, if you do watch this and you're thinking, oh man, this is a bit boring, just stick with it. It only gets better from here. Exactly, that is literally how the game is. See, technically, he's walked into three, two Overwatch things, but only one has been triggered. So that's a bit. Hmm, she was in triggered in Overwatch. She should have shot them. Okay, that's how you're gonna be. Now, but we can't be bothered cooking chops and vegetables. We're having beef, curry, rice, and four cars on the cobs. Can you imagine having four cars on the cobs? Dude, you might seriously worry, man. Can you imagine having four cars on the cobs? Yep. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Dude, your volume's way too high, you're blurring like serious. Let me go into the main settings and turn them down. Sound and devices. See, it's I not that easy, uh, was it? it? The, the, I missed that because the percentage was low. I mean, you're a little bit better than that, but. Welcome to the viewer, nice to see you today, how are you doing? Or not? Why the people are you turned down? <laughs> are you turned down? Yeah, yeah, you're more level now, dude. Yeah, cool. I think there's one more defensive guy to take out and then we're all good so I'm going to take off defensive position there and get him next time this character has two moves so I'm going to move it there and directly hit the guy I'm gonna go for melee punch because vale. Oh my day, the mist. She's probably gonna get shot a lot. Okay, character was incredibly lucky, so I'm gonna get her back up put in place. Again, for XCOM fans, this is very simple. You've seen this before, and this is how the game works. Point blank attack and took a nice bit of damage off there. Good, good. Depending where your character stands, you get better percentages of shots. Yellow is good, red is bad. And the higher number you get is good. So even though I'm close, I'm actually going to trigger an overwatch to at least one of the two guys. The, the cone should cover both of them. With the stuff that you put on my character, dude, I'm already have two, two things ready. Oh, the uh, soon as I jump in. Yeah, the ATP booster. Yeah, as soon as I get in the thing, I'm already level two on the thing. Yeah, when that's max, you get. Even, I think you pretty much get max. Bar. It's hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Okay, so both characters took a few hits there, but they're relatively healthy. Take this racket over two. Every, is a everyone's been taken out, so I can take can over this now. I have a mini viewer. Select take to make this one yours. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if Christine is showed over. upon the audio. It'll cost you to re-outfit a racket or something else. No, Select the brewery. It's fine if she did, I ain't too bad, but it, I just find it funny. Who the fuck do you think you are? First my bar, and then my brewery? Okay, so this is the uh, mini family boss that we've just stole his bar and his bureau, so obviously he's quite upset. You can see what the guy said, I'm not going to repeat it just in case it gets me in a bit of hot water with YouTube. This is pointless. When you decide that you want to talk face to face like a man, you know where to find me. So even though I've killed all his guards, took over his bar and his bureau, he says, now nah, we're good, we'll have a friendly meeting.
<laughs> you know, th this thing here called a sit down is what it seems like it is. You have to go to a particular location and have like a, a two minute meeting with Step the guy. The brewery. So obviously I'll be showing you that now. Alright. Because it, of course, it's a tutorial. Sit downs with another boss, a serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. I can see the marker now, but I'll follow the I'll follow the um thing. So again, usually you would go to the actual icon on the map rather than the golden arrow. But the um golden arrow is the thing saying go here to be quicker because it's the tutorial. So this is obviously how the sit downs work, I'll begin the sit down now and the characters will talk so I won't interrupt, I will just answer with the buttons. You've been a thorn in my side since you got here Capone. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of back in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. <laughs> I'm gonna try something different this time. The first time I did try this, I was always nice to everybody and I wondered afterwards why, because Al Capone wouldn't be. So this time I'm just gonna See, pull a gun on the guy. There's plenty of room. <laughs> just have to get rid of the dead weight. Calm down. If this is really how you want to do things, then we'll settle it here. Just remember, I tried to be nice. You ain't nice if you seen your teeth. <laughs> you got a death wish, O'Neill? Pretty how about soon for you there. True. So yeah, this is the back end of the first sit down. I've made an enemy of O'Reilly, I think his name was. So I'm gonna have to kill him now, and that will be this what is this is. This is a boss is. battle in the literal God. sense. Stupid to win at this game, you need to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours. Okay, so where's my characters here? I'm gonna zoom in so I can see them. Okay, um Oh I see. Right, where's cover? Alright then. Go here. Hit an overwatch. That's what I do. Oh, oh, Riley, right. you've got a problem. Good job, I saw that guy would have shot me in the back. Oh, um, okay, where's the other guys hiding? Yeah, so if any anybody watching sees anything interesting or somewhat obvious that you think I'm missing, feel free to leave a comment and help me out. That's completely fine. You know, I'm aiming for it to be interactive eventually, so feel free to do that. Or, or leave comments after the fact, completely up to you guys. Oh, I think I've just been, I've just been, uh, the blood cells. I think you're oh, going okay. a lot, dude. Can you, can you check your volume on the stream? Because it might I'll just be my earpieces. I've turned it down. Right, no. you call, you call, yeah. yeah. Look, so it might just be my earpieces, but it's worth No, 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 I right. can hear it blowing on my side as well. You know, we need the feedback. Yeah. 
I don't know why, bro. I can hear the feedback. Okay, so... I will play the Among Us. I feel like the job flight is going, dude. That's the gun online. Yeah, I like, I, I like. just like this style of games because I'm a big XCOM fan. Mm. It, do, it is quite involving and it does take a while, but you know, once you get used to it, it's very, um, you get drawn into it. Yeah. Uh, which one am I going to do there? Is this going to 1000 steps? Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, you need 5,000 for the bonus to kick yeah. in. Yeah, quite as well, so... Dear God, I'm gonna have to start healing. I'm making mistakes here. Okay, doing this. I should still win. That shouldn't be a problem, but... I need to be a little bit better. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna use a shotgun on this guy. Dead. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, right. Wrong button, that helps. Have you got a big weapon as well? Yeah, do that rain of fire. You go I have kind of overdone it, but I hope to get lucky. Okay, wild components. Keeping him busy, I'm gonna bring in the second guy. Entendido. Oh, she healed herself. That's good. But I, I need to, um, do the healing myself. Alright. Oh, that's quite clever. I wasn't aware the game did that. Moves out of the way so it can heal itself. That's cool. Um, why not? Really went the wrong way. Another Overwatch. What you gone the wrong way on the level? Yeah, it was good though because it makes more step through. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go, innit? it? You're finished. Mm. I've got him somewhat surrounded, but he looks like um might take a few more turns. So I did this game in general is quite um it's got a unique pace to it so you, you just do it as it comes sort of thing. So if you're not quite into lower paced games then I can understand you might think oh this is taking a long time. Well that's just the nature of the game. How is that even possible? See, I can't use that now because people will get. Um. Oh, whatever. <coughs> At least he missed. Okay, so this should be the end of it because I've literally standing in front of his face.
and typical mm. stuff 82% chance of hit and you miss. Probably it's not that then, is it? Alright. Oh. Exactly, but that's the way these games roll. Understood. So again, this is basically the end of the tutorial by killing your first mini boss. Overwatch triggered and he takes it in the chest. And the game says he's nearly dead, so I'm gonna pick. I've never seen that score before. It says it's an execution, so I'm gonna do it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, cool! That's very cool. Um, I, th I think he's dead. Yeah, nah, 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 man, he can come back from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, I've genuinely never done that before, house. so that was a Defend good surprise for me. Costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive top, benefits. And I'll definitely be doing that again because I didn't expect the zoom in and mini cutscene for it. So that, like everything else, your safe house great. needs security. It also has a small brewery in case the feds shut down everything else. You can upgrade as you need to, but to win at sin, you're going to need more than that. Right now, you'll need to do the legwork, but eventually, you'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. Uh, I when that happened. Yeah, everything in the middle of a in the middle of a barrier, and then the, um. This is your empire at a glance. Yes, in the middle everything of the barrier, and, and it goes pretty deep. You can yeah. see things like, like in who the middle runs of the wall, like what people are drinking versus what you're yeah. serving. What yeah, and because the, the pylons in the way you, you can see opportunity too. Uh, yeah, Optimize alcohol, is, uh, get an yeah. underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. Have a look around. Well, this game, as you can tell by what the guy just when said, ready, does have like the an, tab. an under section of the racket do a little bit of map sort of thing, of upgrade including sort of those owned by others. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare um, your own. Don't know, Ken now, loves that kind select of thing. customer. Yeah, I've, I have been known to get lost the in games The customer tab shows how well you do in filling your records with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word of mouth advertising, locating next to other records, or improving your ambience. Next, open the finance screen. Yeah, um, the finance tab <laughs> gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending. Last, Select alcohol. Oh, right, so before I press that, I was just Three. about to say what drawn me to this game was the fact that it's basically it's basically an XCOM clone but with 1940s skin, and I think that's just really interesting. So, and it has got just enough um, differences and different mechanics underneath that it's not a rip off. So, for people that like that style of game this would definitely be worth taking a look at but i would suggest to get it on sale because it can be overpriced the alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where you can see your upgrades here as well and how they can be improved okay so circle looks like you just got a mission you get a go. better look at what you need to do by opening the mission screen Okay, well I can see what the mission is, but for the sake of tutorial, I'll press the button. Here you can see a list of active missions, as well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the Close tab. Your active mission will also appear on the main screen. Okay, just so I know dude, are you the viewer, just so I know? Yeah. Okay, cool. Close the mission screen. 
Obviously, if problems. you're watching this after the fact, I will still react as if you're watching live, so you get all the information and things. Yeah. So you'll still get you the same need to get experience. Moving. Get a crew, get rackets, fortify them, make allies and enemies, and take them out. That's how you own this city. Go get them, Kingpin. I'll see you around. Now, keep in mind, that guy is a taxi driver. That's it. That's his job. He drives the taxi. I'm Al Capone. He's telling me what to do. Just so, saying. what now? Well, it's up to you, boss. To you got the tools to take over this. How you yeah. do it is up to Let's you. Take a look at your mission journal to get started. You've got to take this city yep. piece by piece. If you want a suggestion, you can start by taking control of this neighborhood first. Good luck, Kingpin. When I'm rich and powerful, I'm killing you by principle. Yeah. And that's the DLC equipment I mentioned earlier, but I'll handle that as it comes up in a tutorial at some point again. Uh, if this building was in danger, you'd press the ambush button and boom, XCOM style kicks in. But because there is no danger, you press circle again and you're in normal walk around mode. So I'm going to save it here so I don't lose anything I did earlier because admittedly that took a long time. And I think that's a good introduction for now. That's the end of the bulk of the tutorial. So I'll save that here and I'll be back later with a different game. So thank you for the people that watch this in the future. Please do leave comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will reply to each comment received. So for now it's goodbye from me KHG and goodbye and thank you to Jewett. Um, we'll let our people. So we'll both see you soon and thank you for your time everybody. It's been me KHG, see you next time.